A very warm welcome to you out there for joining us in this special edition of the program, AIT Infotech Network. And I am Bayero Agabi. For details, you can log on to AITinfotechnetwork.com or better still, you watch us live on Saba Africa TV that is on YouTube. You're welcome. For news, views, trends in ICT globally and in Africa in particular, watch AIT Infotech Network for the latest news and innovation in ICT for development in Africa. Plus, what technology can do for you from business to politics, tourism and culture. I am Bayero Agabi. You're welcome. Electronic business, simply known as e-business, describes buying and selling of products or services conducted over electronic systems such as the internet and other computer networks. At a recent e-business conference organized by the Nigeria Internet Group in Lagos, technology professionals espoused the benefits of e-business, stressing that it remains one of the catalysts to accelerated economic growth in many countries globally. E-business simply is an internet technology driven business that is that is continued to be a catalyst to accelerate economic growth in many countries globally with so many developments in the nigerian information and communication technology sector ict nigeria is set and has already joined the rest of the world in driving its economy with e-business President of the Nigeria Internet Group Engineer Bio Banjo noted that Nigeria has joined the rest of the world in driving its economy with technology. Most significant developments in the sector will include the African mobile phone, personal computers and a liquid crystal display manufacturing plant set up by the RLG at $10 million, a $10 million factory that will be sited in Oshun State. But to the CEO of Infographics Interactive Software, Chinenye Mba Ozoku, the opportunities offered by technologies in today's world are enormous, and only a fraction of these are enjoyed by Nigerians. I actually believe that we're living in a time when the future is created by people who are not yet even 21 years old. For many of my generation, we are the last that will reach our peak at the age of 50. For those of you who are in this hall, a large number of you who are in this hall, if you're over 35, you have actually passed your peak. Because your contemporaries in other parts of the world, at the age of 21, 25, they have already passed the first major world-changing milestone. And by 35, they're somewhat asking, what next? And they don't have room in their societies because they've been pushed aside by the young ones at the age of 16. This is the reality of our world today. And what underpins that is exactly what we're going to discuss today, education. It is impossible for us to take the steps that we need to take without education. And yet, as you'll see in the slides that follow, we are currently existing in a state of, in an almost a catatonic state. Other speakers at the event shared Chinenye's views, including Benga Shesan of Paradigm Initiative. Any of you below 13? No. The reality is, if you're not writing code at 13, you cannot become a billionaire from writing code at 13. It's impossible. Some of us started at 24, and you know, I'm grateful to Nigerian media for you know, celebrating the, you know, the few gains I got at the time. But when I came face to face with my colleagues across the world, your competition is no longer the guy in the next school or the guy in the next country. Your competition is the guy whose life literally depends on him being able to churn lines of code. The international e-business market has continued to grow exponentially, and according to those professionals, with the right policies in place to drive technology inclusion and broadband access, Nigeria will begin to enjoy the immense opportunities offered by ICT. That is the show for now. For more details, please log on to www.youtube.com slash TV for more details. Or simply text us your comment. Until next week, I remain yours sincerely. Bye, Agabi.
Bye-bye.